Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com In this tutorial we will look at how you can create dynamic hyperlinks using the hyperlink function. Now Excel will allow you to insert hyperlinks using the hyperlink button on your insert tab and we can use this to create hyperlinks to, to other files such as PDFs, to web pages to other sheets within a workbook but they are all static hyperlinks it's a fantastic tool but you might want to get a little bit more from these you might want more intelligent links those that are conditional and won't always be displayed those that can find a record themselves and link to it rather than us having to tell them where that record is and for that little bit more from your links you will need the hyperlink function. In this tutorial as a demonstration we have this table of contents sheet and want to be able to create a link to each of the other sheets at the bottom to the required country. I only want to write this once and by copying it down the function will link to the required sheet itself. So in cell C3 we're gonna start up the hyperlink function equals hyperlink and an opening bracket now the hyperlink function needs two bits of information from you only the first one is mandatory where it asks you where would you like to link to what are you linking to the second one is optional where it asks for your friendly name and this is the text that you'd like to be displayed as the link text the clickable text. Now the first bit, the link location, this is an area where we can write another function to give it this dynamic or this more intelligent kind of behavior than just a typical link that goes and looks at E2 or whatever. Now what we're going to type is we're going to need to concatenate different parts together. So we're going to use this concatenate function which is a text function and we'll join different text strings as they call it together. Uh, all will become clear if not at the moment as we start up this concatenate function and the first bit of text we're going to give it is going to be the hash symbol. We'll put it inside these double inverted commas as it is text and we're using a hash symbol because in the hyperlink function if you put a hash in you're referencing another sheet within the same file. So I haven't got to write that this is hyperlink function dot xlsx or any of this. I'm just saying within this file, go here. So if I put my comma within this file, where do we want to go? Now we want to go to the sheet with the name that is equal to whatever's in column B. So in this specific function, we're talking about Canada, uh, aka cell B3. I'm saying a hash sign, then the contents of B3, comma, and then after that, if we maybe put an exclamation mark, and I'm going to put A1 uh, to pick a cell really, might as well go to the top of that sheet, closing double inverted commas. So we're going to concatenate the hash sign, followed by Canada, followed by exclamation mark A1, so a typical sheet reference and a reference to that cell. Joining them together, obviously the B3 reference is where the dynamic nature is coming. When we copy this function down that will move to B4, to B5 and so on. That's where the kind of power is coming from and concatenate how when us join elements together here. So closing bracket and a comma. So we're back in hyperlink. We're asking what is the friendly name? I'm going to write go to page as the text I would like to use. Press enter. We have a link. Let's move on to that cell. I moved on to that cell using the up arrow on my keyboard. Just noticing what I did there subconsciously. I can't click on it anymore because there's a link there. I'd have to click next to it and move in using an arrow. Uh, a cursor arrow. And I'll copy that function down. So now, for all the cells, it should have the required cell reference. 
And if we give that a trial run, if I click on the Germany one, it takes me to the Germany sheet. If I click on the Brazil one, it takes me to the Brazil sheet. So working exactly as planned, the hyperlink function has created a dynamic hyperlink. One that I could copy to thousands of records and it will work. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. There are absolutely loads of examples where the hyperlink function uh, can, can really improve your spreadsheets. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at Computer Gaga.